Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I do different videos ranging from home, lifestyle, and motherhood. So if you like that kind of content, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button down below. For today, we're going to be doing purse organization. I personally feel like your purse is almost like a junk drawer that travels with you. It just gets to be a mess so easily. I have been guilty of carrying around a mom bag, a diaper bag for just way too long. Amila is almost two and a half years old now. So it was time for this fall season to add a little bit more style to my look and wear a bag that I feel like could be functional for style as well as still of course since I'm a mom hold some of her things in there. I'm going to show you guys how I organize it. The bag that I'm going to be showing you today is going to be this Teddy Blake bag. It has this gorgeous leather detailing in a gray shade and then on the sides what happens to be my favorite is this pop of color like mustard. So I feel these two colors mixed together are the perfect fall shade. It's such high quality. It is 100% leather made in Italy and and my favorite feature of this bag, which I thought was so smart that I have not yet seen in a tote bag, is this inner bag right here that's a really high suede material and it turns into a drawstring insert. So there you go, you close it right on up and you don't have to worry about all of your stuff falling out of a tote bag. Tote bags, I feel like, carry the most things inside of them, but unfortunately when I've had them in the past, everything would just kind of fall out and it would be such a disaster. So this one I really loved when I saw that it had that drawstring feature, that it would be the perfect tote bag for me to carry around. The way you guys are gonna see me organize, I have everything in its place and you know that an area is really well designed and organize when anyone can kind of find anything in your bag. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that you can do to store all of your items. This way, if you need to find something really easily, if you need others to kind of reach into your bag and find something easily for you as well, they can definitely do that. Without further ado, let's get right into today's video. First thing I like to do when I'm going to be organizing a new purse, I like to lay everything out that I need to fit inside of it. And then as you can see here, I do already subcategorize it. This is when I'm going to go into organizing. It's kind of already laid out in an organized way, making it much easier to fill and knowing exactly what I need and don't forget anything. then place the purse right on top of a countertop or desk area depending on what you're working with right in front of all the items that you're going to put inside is easiest this way it's a nice easy reach and then I'm going to dive right into the purse just showing you guys a little bit more in detail for those that may be interested anything that I'm going to be showing you in today's video this bag along with any of the organization items I will have linked down in the description bar Teddy Blake has some gorgeous handbags and they were kind enough to also provide me with the coupon code which I'll have down in the description bar as well now the very first thing and my absolute favorite is this organizer. I used this when I had a diaper bag and I figured now that I have a tote, it'll be perfect to transition into there as well. These are organizers subdivided based on categories. So we have me and mine, shirts and socks, diapers and wipes, lotions and potions, and snacks and supplies. This is absolutely perfect if you have a little one. I will have linked down below for those of you that do not have kids, another purse organization that I used to use prior to having a little one that I absolutely loved. So that would be a great option for you guys but if you have kids this is the absolute perfect thing I use it literally every single day and I have been obsessed with it since day one so as you'll see since it's a tote bag it very easily inserts directly right into the bag with plenty of space to work with As you see here, I'm first starting off with my items. So I always like to keep a mascara, a lip gloss, and some feminine products right on in there. This way it's so easy to access. As I mentioned, these are pre-labeled. So this would be the me and my section would be, of course, for any mommies out there to keep all of your things intact. Sometimes I'll keep like some extra change or anything like that. It has a plenty of space for you to add as many things as you need. Next in the lotions and potions section, when she was younger, I used to have like diaper cream and things like that. But now I just like to keep a simple hand sanitizer that works for either her and I and I know exactly where to access it. Then
Then for shirts and socks, I keep an extra change of clothes and an extra pair of underwear. Mila is potty trained, but I feel sometimes toddlers can be messier than babies, believe it or not. So I always like to have an extra pair of clothes in there for her. As mentioned, Mila is potty trained, but I do like to keep extra wipes for when I bring her travel potty and she uses the restroom or if we have any messes and spills all over her face from eating a snack or something. And the final section is the snacks and supplies. I like to kind of keep some basics in here, some raisins, fruit snacks. I can also throw in something for myself if we're going to be out for a long duration, like a granola bar. And this is a very large size bag, so I can fit plenty. Every morning I do restock it with a lot more of things than this, but those are kind of just staples that stay in there. Then I have this adorable pencil pen case that I like to keep inside with any of my pens as well as highlighters. I feel like you always need things like that, but I get really worried because in previous bags, they have actually ruined the interior by just leaving your pens or markers laying around. So having a little case for them can ensure that they're easy to access and you don't have to worry about damaging your interior. So if there's one thing that I tell you guys that is an absolute must have that you do have to purchase from this video and that will have to be this key ring holder. It fits my car key on the end, which is a large key fob. It holds up to six keys on the interior as well as credit cards and a little bit of cash. As a mom, as much hands-free as I can get, the better. And this is right from Amazon, under $10, and it is totally, totally needed to keep you organized and such an easy access to find your keys, not having to rummage through your entire bag. I wanted to once again just show you guys that quick little drawstring feature that, like I said, I'm absolutely obsessed with. The only two additional items that I didn't show that I do always include in my purse would be a small water bottle for Mila and then, of course, my phone, which I was actually using at the moment. Just showed you guys the interior of what it looks like. This now completes my purse organization video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did, and I'll talk to you all in my next one. Bye.